What kind of company is Tesla? Do you think you know? I'll bet most of you don't. I haven't produced any videos about Tesla because there are so many really great creators out there covering this topic and I didn't feel what I had to say would add any value until now. Is Tesla a car company? A clean energy company? An artificial general intelligence company? Why do so many Wall Street analysts and the general public feel the need to put everything in these neat little uniform compartments? Obviously this standard compartment won't age well. As a person or a company, allowing yourself to be slotted into a narrow definition limits who you are, but more importantly, it limits who you can become. Tesla is a standout company because it refuses to be defined by the definitions of others. But what drives this determination to succeed? Well, let's take a look. Let's start out with Elon's overarching goal. And what is that? Well, it's really simple. It's to ensure the continued survival of humanity. Now, we're talking about Tesla here, so we're going to leave SpaceX and the other companies out of this. But Tesla's stated goal that feeds into that overarching goal is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Well, what does that mean? How do you do that? You start out by building electric vehicles that are compelling to drive. They're better, they're quicker, they're safer. They're just more fun to drive. And let me tell you, I own a Model 3 and it's the best car I have ever driven, bar none. How else do you do this? Well, you drive the cost of the Tesla manufacturing down to the materials cost. I've never heard anybody in manufacturing talk that way. That's amazing. And then a famous line that I heard Elon Musk talk about in an interview with MKBHD, oh my God, it must have been at least a year ago, if not two years ago, where Elon said, Like, because the, the best part is no part, best part of process is no process. I had to stop the video, rewind it, and, and listen several more times because that was just phenomenal and profound. How else? Well, if you solve artificial general intelligence, then that will let you solve full self-driving and eventually be able to create robo-taxis. Why is that so important? Well, by doing so, you can make a Tesla maybe 10 times safer than an existing car without that kind of assistance. And look, I can already attest to this. My wife was driving the Model 3 uh, about a week ago, and she didn't see a jogger by the side of the road. Now, she wouldn't have hit the jogger, but the Model 3 lit up like a Christmas tree, identified the jogger in red on the screen, and beeped at her to let her know that jogger was there. And then finally, to make the transition to sustainable energy, you have to power these cars with clean energy, not fossil fuels. So Tesla has chosen to develop solar power generation and storage. Tesla is leading the way to clean energy and cleaning up our polluted atmosphere. And according to the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, we're making really good progress. This kind of surprised me. CO2 emissions in 2020 here are back to levels that we haven't seen since 1980 back here. That's amazing. And, and that's in spite of the fact that there are more than double the amount of vehicle miles being traveled now than there were in 1980. That says we're making good progress, but we need to do better. 1980 wasn't zero emissions. 1980, there were still a lot of emissions. So we need to get below that. We need to get to zero emissions. Why not provide electric energy as a utility? Tesla's already approved to do this in Texas. And how does that benefit Tesla and Tesla shareholders? Well, currently the market for electric energy as a utility is almost $6 trillion in 2022 and growing to over $8 trillion in 2026. That's an amazing business opportunity. Robotaxi fleet, a $12 trillion potential annual market. It's immense. The humanoid robot. If you can solve artificial general intelligence, you can create robots that can think like humans. This is a, an infinite annual market size. Nobody can even put a number on this. It's so big. And then finally, as I said, solving artificial general intelligence, not just for robotics and robo-taxis and, and cars with autonomous driving, 
But solving artificial general intelligence is a key to opening up infinite business possibilities. Why is this kind of open-ended, lofty goal setting so important? Well, because it drives opportunities and innovation to reach the goals rather than being narrowly focused on being one kind of a company like an auto company or a solar company. So what kind of company is Tesla? Is Tesla an electric car company? Yeah, obviously, right? A provider of refueling services, charging stations? You bet. An energy generation company? Yep. A lithium processing company? Maybe. A factory design company? <laughs> That's a big part of what they do. A masterful supply chain management company? Yes. A do-whatever-needs-to-get-done problem-solving company? Definitely. A battery design and manufacturing company? Yes. A utility? Yes. A semiconductor chip design company? Yes. An artificial general intelligence company? Yes. A robotics company? Yes. A company that designs new materials and alloys? You bet. A you-name-it company? Yes. If it's in alignment with the goals stated above and external suppliers can't get out of their own way to do it well enough or consistently enough, Tesla's going to figure out a way to do it. Look, call me crazy. But I firmly believe that Tesla will become a trillion dollar revenue, again, trillion dollar revenue producer at some point in the next 10 to 15 years. Doubt me? Stick around. And most people still don't see it coming. I'm Calvin Rose and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe and notification bell so you won't miss an upcoming episode of Invest Smarter. That's all for now. Hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, there's several ways on Patreon for you to support the channel and access exclusive content, including special posts on the markets, educational materials about how to select investments and manage your portfolio. And at the investor level, you'll have full access to our natural selection stock rankings so you can evaluate individual stocks or market sectors that fit your investment style. Check out the link at the pinned comments below and thank you for your support.